Hello my fellow humans and welcome back to my channel with Scatter Love Tarot and today we are doing a daily dice reading for you guys. So if these are resonating with you guys make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below, subscribe to the channel, set the notification bell so you guys always know when the next video does get uploaded. Keeping in mind that as you guys interact with my channel it allows me an opportunity to connect with your energies and get you out more resonant readings. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the daily dice. So, Source, what is the daily dice for today? What would you like my fellow humans to know with the daily dice? How can we help them out? What messages do you have for them, Source, for the daily dice? Okay, so ninth house has been a popular one today. Like, let's get it. So we've got ninth house, Virgo energy, and Neptune energy. Let me get this set up, and then I'll move this over for you guys. I just want to say this out loud because I did have one that flipped over, and I'm not sure if I got it right or not, but that's okay. We must first make mistakes so that we can learn from them. Awesome. Okay, so... Yeah, you guys, today is about taking steps towards your spiritual journey. So whatever it is that you guys have for spiritual rituals, it's very important for you guys to really lean into those and to know that even if it doesn't seem like a big deal, it is. It's like even if you guys only have five minutes to put towards your spiritual lessons, your rituals, your your learnings, or even just like prayer or meditation or yoga, whatever it is that you guys do to connect with the divine. It's just really important because every day that you put some aspect of energy towards that, your intention towards that, it helps you guys build that muscle within you. And that's what with the ninth house and Virgo energy or Virgo. I'm sorry, the ninth house and Capricornian energy here. That is what is being said here. It's like Capricorn is all about taking those little tiny methodical steps. It's like one foot in front of the other. We don't turn around and look at how far we've come. We just keep looking down and putting one foot in front of the other. Because for Virgo, they know that as long as they're doing that work and they're putting forth that effort, there's going to be... A sense of accomplishment that comes from that especially with Neptune here it's like really reconnecting with that aspect but it's like finding that drive and that determination here it's like being strategic in how you guys approach your spiritual journey so again this is all about your spiritual life this is really connecting with that inner wisdom that you have and finding a way to connect with source, with God, with the universe, with the creator, with your higher self, with your intuition, whatever it is that you guys believe, it does not matter. It is okay. And being ambitious in that pursuit, right? Because that's where you guys become masters of your destiny. And really being able to manifest the life that you want here. So we do have this Capricorn energy, which is very masculine. You know, with the ninth house here, that is fire energy, which is also masculine. But Capricorn itself is depictive of a masculine figure, someone that's very authoritative. So you guys may be finding that whatever it is that you guys are pursuing or whatever it is that you're studying, you are soon going to master that and become an authoritative figure in that, which is going to allow you guys to maybe branch off and create your own business if that's something that you're interested in on down the line. Today is really about connecting with your intuition and the dreams that you guys have and really and really using your imagination and how it is that you want your life to be and then allowing your psychic sense to come through and play in the game too and not feeling guilty for trusting yourself. Right? I feel like that's a big one that's coming through here because I do feel like some of you guys feel guilty for trusting your intuition because maybe it doesn't play to the tune of somebody else's drums. And that's not what this life is about. We're not here to play everybody else's drums. We're here to play our own drums, which is a unique tune that we need to play. And if we're trying to play somebody else's tune, we'll never let our own inner light shine, our own music play. I don't know why we're using music right now, but that's what's coming through. So, I mean, especially with Neptune, it is the house of music, the planet of music, not the house, but the planet of music. But again, very spiritual energy coming through here and being receptive to the inspiration that you guys are getting. So say that you guys get inspired to create something new today. Go and do that. Don't let yourself 
freak yourself out about it and put the handbrakes on and be like, oh, I'm not good enough for that. No, that's bull, bullarchy. Like, you are good enough for that. I don't know what this word is today, but that's what's been coming out. So, sure. Maybe somebody's, uh, like, I keep hearing grandfather said that a lot or somebody. So, I don't know. That could be a message for some of you guys. It's just weird. It's a weird, I've never heard that word before, bullnarchy. Like, that's what keeps coming through. So if that resonates with somebody, please let me know because I've never heard it. And it came out, that's like the third time that it's come out today, okay? So let's get some oracles out on it for you guys. What else do you want us to know, Source? Wow, that is, that is two? Okay, well, we'll just take these two. We'll just let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we have air, open-mindedness, objectivity, and learning with Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra energies coming through here. Like, this is a mountain that you're going to climb. There is no end result because, like, you're going to climb one peak and there's going to be another one to climb. But it's definitely this ebb and flow here and learning what's important for you guys. It's not about learning what's important for everybody else. Like, we have Earth energy, guys, with Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, persistence, patience, and practicality. Taking those small steps, being persistent, and letting the patience build. So if you guys are maybe, you guys are developing your psychic sense, okay? Psychic abilities, we're all born with psychic gifts. All of us. Everybody is born. They're just different. They're unique to each individual person. And so maybe you guys have recently opened up to your own psychic gifts and you guys are trying to build those. Well, give yourself some room to make mistakes, right? Like, it's like, I didn't get here overnight, guys. I've been reading tarot cards for over five years now, consistently on a daily basis for people, for for YouTube, for myself. It's, it's like it takes time to really build to get to where you're going. It's not something that you just have overnight right? But the more energy and effort you put towards it, the more likely it is you guys will succeed and quicker. And then we have masculine energy with yang or yang, depending on how you say it. We have Aries, Gemini, Leo, Libra, Sagittarius, and Aquarius with proactivity, expression, doing, and forward motion. Yeah, so definitely approaching your spiritual energy from this place of doing today. So if you guys are trying to build up your muscle, find something that you can add to your routine that allow you to take those small methodical steps and you guys will see success. Okay, this is what I have for you on the daily dice. If it resonates, hit that thumbs up button down below. But I'm going to get on out of here. Until next time, stay human, guys. Bye.